Brian Particelli, 2fab.com here. How are you both doing today? Pretty good. How are you doing? I am great. <laughs> I got to say, I've, I've watched all the screeners. I know you haven't seen them yet, so I have a leg up on you. But <laughs> I, I, no, I'm curious just for you, because obviously the first episode comes out the gate. Re- you know, th- it hits you with a swinging scandal, an arrest. There's the, 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 the porn addiction chat that we have. You know, there's a lot in that first episode to get people, I think, hooked on the rest of the series. Um, I'm curious for you, though, you know, How has the reaction been for each of you in the Mormon community since the trailers started coming out, since people really started talking about the show? It's definitely a lot louder online than when we're actually going to church. Nobody is coming up to us at church and telling us that we're not Mormon. Okay. (laughs) Even though we have a show saying that we're Mormon. (laughs) Um, And I also think that, I mean, unfortunately, the negativity, I think, just seems louder but there is some positivity as well from the mormon Mm. community yeah no i would say i mean i will say it has been a little disappointing to see like our own community as us two at least our active members to see Mm -hmm. them telling us you're not mormon like you know saying some like negative hateful things um but the end of the day the positive comments outweigh the negative and we are getting a lot of positive in the dms and stuff so that's (laughs) been you know helpful how do you think it'll shift maybe after the show comes out? I know some of your co-stars said they thought it might get worse before it get better. Others think it'll maybe spark some good conversations, some good change. Um, I part think- of me thinks- you go. No. Okay. Part of me thinks this might be the calm before the storm, but also mm-hmm. it could be the opposite because you see the trailer and it's like, oh, they're swinging, they're drinking, like they're doing all these things, you know? But it, it's not the case when you watch the show, right? So I think yeah. that people will understand that and honestly be eating their words once they see it. <laughs> How about you, Whitney? Um, yeah, I I don't know. I wish I could predict the future. <laughs> yeah, don't we all? But yeah, but I have <laughs> no idea. <laughs> and I'm curious what you think maybe some of the, the husbands and boyfriends will think once they've seen the show. Because... Some of them were around for filming. Some of them weren't. There's a lot said about a lot of them. I'm curious just how you think they'll react, what kind of conversations that might spark amongst the group or amongst each other, I guess. I'm not worried about my husband. Um, (laughs) I am worried about some other partners, but not mine. (laughs) Yeah, I would say the same. I'm not worried about my husband at all, but there's a couple I can think of who are not going to be super happy. Yeah, I mean, I think obviously there, there's Zach and Dakota. There's a lot about them on the back half of the season. Macy, you have that whole confrontation with him in, in the car, which is, I think, unusual to see for a reality show. Usually the, the boyfriends and the husbands don't get so involved in the drama. Just what was that like for you? Because that is such a... They tend to stay out of it on other shows. It's like Housewives and stuff like that. Yeah, it was definitely uncomfortable, to say the <laughs> least. It was weird. Um, but again, it, you know, we had that conversation, and I think it was helpful at least to see where he's coming from. I think Dakota has good intentions. Um, yeah. You know, I don't think he's doing anything to be malicious. I think he's involved because he wants to be loved, right? He wants to be liked. He wants his relationship with Taylor to work out. So I understand that. But yeah, it definitely was interesting to say the least to have a conversation <laughs> alone with him <laughs> last question i have for you because i am a, a real housewives fan i watch salt lake do you know how do you think this compares to that show and and do you know the women i know some of the other cast members i said they they said they do uh, did you get maybe advice just how, how small is that community <laughs> i actually don't know the other women <laughs> from the real Housewives of Salt Lake. Wait, I, don't, I don't know them I mean, I've seen them um, on socials or I like, I, I've watched, I think I watched the first two seasons, mm. um, but no, I personally don't know them. Yeah. I haven't seen the Salt Lake Housewives. I grew up like watching the Orange County Housewives, like in the OG days when it first started, cause I'm from there. Um, but I haven't, I don't watch a ton of reality TV, to be honest, besides <laughs> like dating shows. <laughs> and so, mm. um, yeah, I've seen a couple of them at events before, like in, at influencer <laughs> events, but I don't know them personally at all. Mm. Well, I think you, you guys do a very good job setting the show different uh, apart from it. I think there is a very different kind of storyline going on here. And I 
think people will be pleasantly surprised by that when they watch. Good. Thank <laughs> you. Um, but thank you both for your time today. Can't wait for everyone else to see the show and have a good one.